Hi, this is T. Ranjini. Uh, in this video, we are going to see one-to-one uh, -one communication. That is how ESP32 was uh, communicated with uh, other uh, ESP32. Uh, here we are going to use analog sensor in the sender uh, uh, side. That is sensor node is uh, connected with the analog sensor and the receiver we are connecting the LED. So we are taking two ESP32. One ESP32 is connected in with the uh, potentiometer. Another ESP32 is connected with LED. So now we will see the code of the sender. So for sender we need a mac address of the receiver so uh, this is the code available uh, you can you use that um, esp now protocol uh, and wi-fi dot h header file then we have to replace this mac address how we can get the mac address already i have uploaded uh, one video mac address video so in description box i will uh, give the link so you can use that uh, code to get the MAC address. So once you have received the MAC address, just you can uh, you can replace that uh, MAC address with the default uh, MAC address given here. Uh, then uh, here we are going to use the potentiometer. So the pin number uh, 36, that is uh, VP pin, we are connecting. So in this um, terminal, so VP. VP pin we are connecting some some uh, ESP32 uh, it was given as SP so you can use SP or VP so that uh, device will be connected analog sensor any analog sensor you can connect it and then what are the variable you are going to use that you can use it so character means you can use character uh, then size of the character then integer B C I am not going to use D so Simply, I will take A, B, C alone. Then here, this is the code available, the uh, default code. We are not going to change anything in this code. So only I'm changing here. I'm mentioning that uh, uh, port. What is the number? If it is a digital sensor, you can give the digital sensor pin number. Then you can uh, connect. So what are the variable you want to assign? You can assign here character integer. Uh, you can assign it and then I am not changed anything. Here I have mentioned that pot is the input node. Uh, suppose LED you are using here in the center side, then you can mention that uh, uh, LED as output. Then I have changed the code here. So here I have mentioned that uh, potentiometer from potentiometer only I am getting the data. So my data dot A. I'm assigning as a pot. So whatever uh, variable name you want to give, you can give it. Uh, then my data dot B. This is the analog sensor, so analog read of pot. Then uh, the value is uh, in terms of uh, discrete value. Now I'm going to convert it into analog value. So mapping I'm doing with uh, 4095 as 5 volt. So I will get the output voltage. Uh, here um, as it will send the integer value so we are multiplying that uh, value into 1000 and in the receiver code I will divide that value by 1000 uh, and I will uh, check the condition if it is uh, greater than some threshold value then LED will be um, turned on so this is the code so this code also analog sensor code I have uploaded so same code you can write it in this uh, sender and then here uh, this and all already available so that's all this is the sender code so uh, you have to mention the mac address and you have to mention that uh, sensor and then what type of sensor you are using and then uh, pin number you can mention it and then you can write uh, so whatever the data you want to display or you want to send it you can write the uh, corresponding code and in the receiver code here so this is the receiver code so here we are using what uh, the same variable whatever variable we have used in the sender same uh, variable we are assigning in the receiver side also so receiver side i am going to 
turn on the LED. I am going to use the output device as LED. So the pin number is 26. We are connecting and then I am not changed anything here only. So it is uh, we are receiving the data in terms of integer. Now we are going to convert into float. So first we are assigning with the float and then we are dividing by 1000. So directly if I am doing I am not getting that uh, value floating value uh, for uh, point value I am not getting. So uh, only decimal point is present uh, I am not getting the output it is coming as 0. So we can use that we can assign this uh, uh, data with uh, some floating variable and then if you divide it you will get the answer. So here uh, two condition we can make it in the sender side also we can have this condition or in receiver side also we can make this condition. So sender side if you are making only we can check it um, whether the data is high or low. Uh, suppose receiver side means we can write the code according to that. So when the voltage is uh, greater than some threshold value we are mentioning that uh, voltage is abnormal otherwise it is a uh, normal value. Okay so this code we can upload it. So two ESP32 I have connected. One is in the COM8 port and another one is in the um, COM4 port. So that also we can upload it. We will check whether LED is on or not. By varying the port we can get the corresponding output. So sending and then resuming we are uploading the code. Yeah, in both the ESP32 the program is uploaded. Now we will check the output in COM port. So COM port it is showing that uh, delivery success. Now we will see the output in COM8. Yes the voltage is normal. So if you see here you will get the corresponding output. So delivery success if the receiver is ready to receive the data then only you will get the delivery success. Now we are going to change the pot. See here we are getting the voltage. Now we can increase the voltage. Yes LED turned on. So here I am getting the LED is on. So the LED is glowing. Analog value, discrete value. We are getting that voltage abnormal and then LED is turned on. So if you are connecting buzzer you will get the corresponding output. So in next video we will see how we can send the data many to one as well as one to many and also two-way communication. Thank you.